contingency response deals with contingency operations. Operations that require the military to respond to things like natural disasters, terrorist attacks, those types of things. It's laid out in JP1, but in layman's terms, contingency response is being ready for any situation that might come up. It's being prepared um, for any situation with plans, with uh, tactics. It's designated by the Secretary of Defense. It involves members of the military, and it's typically in response to things like a natural disaster, terrorism, but it could be anything that the appropriate authority deems necessary to protect U.S. interests. 9-11, September 11th happened, and there was a bunch of chaos. A plane ran into the Pentagon, and the SecDef, after that, looked and said, I need to have a single voice for military operations in the NCR. So he came up with what was then called Joint Force Headquarters NCR, that's since transitioned to JTF NCR. So after 9-11, that's when kind of that concept of the Joint Task Force for the National Capital Region and um, then the other services helping came into play. And that's really where AFDW was, got its start, right? Was after 9-11 is when AFDW was technically actually re-established uh, one of our roles, right? So one of those being the contingency response and how we aid or how we provide the Air Force support to the Joint Task Force National Capital Region. So AFDW is, is unique in that because we support headquarters. Um, so we report directly to the Chief of Staff of Air Force. Being here in the NCR, there's a whole bunch of different organizations and units as well as civilian agencies that are in the in the NCR, in the local area. So there's a bunch of different jurisdictions and different ways that people and organizations do things. When it comes to the military assisting civilian authorities, the military is always in support. The military does not take the lead on um, assisting civilian authorities or responding to that. The civilians take that lead and the, and the military is providing support to them. I work with a lot of different people. So we support the entire headquarters Air Force. So I get to meet people that do a lot of different things. And my background is flying, I'm a pilot, and I have not gotten to leave the world of aviation. So to be able to see what the rest of the Air Force does and to play a part of that, I think that's pretty cool. It's interesting to be able to interact with different organizations and with different people. And It's important that we as an AFDW and as a 320th are always ready to support any kind of contingency that would happen um, so that we can make sure that we respond to that no-fail mission.